Welcome back everybody to the world of Persona 5 Royal. You are here with SMK8, aka the Mushroom Rookie. Well, at this point we only have about a few days left until legal action happens and uh, that's really, really bad. So today's episode shall be Madarame's Day of Reckoning, which we will finally go in, send out a calling card, steal his treasure, and I will be very, very well. I've already made preparations necessary as far as organizing my persona stock and whatnot. I have every single persona I need in accordance to different variations in affinities, abilities, and we have two special guests, i.e. being Izanagi for his electric skills and Kaguya for healing magic purposes. So with all that, we are all set to go. Let's head out to the higher. Without further ado, let's head out to the hide away, hide away, hide out, hide away, wherever. We're going to meet up with the team. We're going to send out the calling card, and we're finally going to put this to an end. You okay? This has been a long time coming. I've been looking forward to it all month. Let's do it. Then it's decided. Let's prepare the calling card at once. Calling card, huh? Will he take it seriously? He is famous after all. He has often received slanderous letters till now as well. He'll know best whether the crime written on it is for real or not. Yeah, because unlike everyone else, we've actually seen his crime through his bullshit. Wait, are you going to write it again, Ryuji? That last one was questionable at best. You should do it then, Yusuke. Oh, make it really artistic and stuff. Actually, make it a little bit more professional than the last one. Worked well for Kamoshida. Mm, probably won't work so well for Madarame. No, it'll end with him figuring it out. He knows my drawing and writing styles all too well. Damn, that's a good point. Oh, then I'll think it up and you make it cooler. Designing a calling card. Hmm. Interesting. It shall become proof that the Phantom Thieves do exist. Yeah, if anything, it might make it harder for the police to figure it out. Maybe with the Ryuji's broad vocabulary and Yusuke coming in to fix it up a bit and edit it, it might actually work out for the best. It's decided then. Great! All that's left is to make the treasure ours. You guys better come fully prepared. Let's do it to it, team. Gonna do some Phantom Thief business, yeah! Ah, you're back. Yo, I tried changing the chat icon. It looks the same to me. Maybe it's just for the group that doesn't show up in here. Well, you should take a look later. It's that Phantom Thieves logo I had used get draw for us. The calling card turned out great because of him too. Anyways, this is the first job for the Phantom Thieves. We can't, we really can't screw this up, okay? I'm not underestimating anything, I assure you. And make sure Yusuke gets a lot of rest today, okay? Yeah. Well, see y'all tomorrow. Night. All right. So, tomorrow's the big day, the big heist, the big boss battle. What should we do in preparation? Because we can't leave. Well, um, I guess first we should listen in and kindly ask these young gentlemen to leave. Did you see the news about the wild duck burger? Stuff like that happening makes me not want to eat there, ever. There's just no excuse for it. Besides, that guy says he doesn't remember doing it, right? doesn't even feel bad about it at all. Thank you, the curry was delicious. Alright. Well, I guess since we're preparing to head into battle, brewing up some coffee to uh, restock on our SP mid-fight wouldn't be so bad. Oh. Make some coffee for tomorrow? Not a bad idea. Let's do it. Oh. Looks like you're starting to get into this. 
Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? Well, whatever. Alright. I'm in and out to buy some cigarettes. Mmm, I love the smell of good coffee. Yes! Alright. And what you're drinking, it makes it look delicious. Do LeBlanc coffee. <laughs> it looks like the cheese gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. One point to our charm. <laughs> looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Mm. This acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. The volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. The Guatem Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivations. Strictly hard bean, or SHB, a grade given to coffee grown in altitudes above 4,500 feet, has a citrus-like acidity and a full body. <sighs> Flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Hello, I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. <sighs> Maybe it's fate. Your package seems to follow you wherever you go. I guess everything, good or bad, was meant to happen. I'm not usually one to believe that crap. Then, would you come in here be fate too? Huh, <laughs> this isn't like me. But I hope our chance meeting turns out to be something good. I know, I know, rambling old men aren't popular. Anyway, thanks for the copy. Alright. Gonna rest now because we have a big day tomorrow. Alright, calling car day. Let's do it. Pardon me, sir. There's a matter we need to notify you about. Please excuse me for a moment. What is it? We found this outside. A letter? It's, uh... Mm. Yeah, that's <sighs> no ordinary letter of yours. That's no ordinary fan mail, Monorame. Serichiriusai Matarame, a great sinner of vanity whose talent has been exhausted. You are an artist who uses his authority to shamelessly steal the ideas of his pupils. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. Oh uh, yeah. That is so freaking cool. From Persona 10. The only other reason for us signing our name aside from online leaderboards. The game hardly wants to connect online anyway, so this is a pretty cool perk. And I like that the logo is, you know, that much better and more drawn out than the previous one. And while we're noticing the screen right here, man, poor Yusuke, man. That, the polling warning on that freaking day notification thing whether it be the original or the royal version he's just always he's just always getting snubbed out who's doing is this oh i think oh he doesn't even know he barely even knows us so yeah we don't know the same letter has been posted everywhere it's the judgment day for you madarame what about the security cameras? There were no signs of the culprit. All we saw was a cat in the recordings. Oh, nice work, Morgana. That cat form of yours is coming in way more useful ways than originally thought, huh? Remove these at once. Of course. Hmm. Um. <sighs> what now? It's about this affecting the exhibit. We believe it's just a prank, but what of the mass media? Uh, yeah, remember, he's also getting, um, hecklers here and there. 
He's getting ne he's getting negative rumors spread about him. Ooh. Ooh, this could turn out bad for him. Are you insinuating that this slander is true? We're not. Some people might think so. Of course not. Damn brats doing, isn't it? Oh, he already knows. Uh, we're coming for you. Well, it means nothing. They'll only be able to do as they please until this exhibit is over. It's way more time than you give us credit for, Madarame. Will that do? Position was way cooler too. The treasure should appear right about now. All right, then let's go in and steal it. You better enjoy the air of freedom while you still can, old man. Anyways, did you guys check online? People are already talking about that calling card. We'll show them. We're gonna surprise them all. Hell yeah. I'm sure you know, but we only get one shot to pull this off. Let's do this, team. It'll be fine. We managed last time, too. You have no reservations about this either, right, Yusuke? Of course not. We'll do this. All right. Well, then it's time to get to work. Atmosphere in here seems significantly different. I mean, we did basically declare war on him by sending that card. There's something to fear. Well, then. We've secured a route and we're ready to go. We'll take the treasure in style. Alright. All that. With all that being said, I think yeah, I it would order. be extremely appropriate if we had Fox join our party for this. I'm gonna swap you up with Skull real Sorry, quickly. Alright. Let's go ahead and head up to the upper main hall. Let's get, the, let's get this operation in motion. Let's go. Only objective today is stealing the treasure. Let's do it. Come on, come on. There it is. All right. Uh, it's finally time. There will be no turning back once we begin the operation. And if worse comes to worse, we might have to fight. Joker. All right. Are you ready, Joker? Ready as I'll ever be. Yes. Okay, everyone to your positions. There's an enemy inside, just as expected. I mean, we've done a ton in here. It ain't surprising. Anyway, I'm gonna try and draw it out, so I'll leave the switch to you guys. Will you be okay? What if it catches up to you? Don't underestimate an ex-runner. I'm definitely gonna shake it off. <laughs> hey! There's some weird people over here! Hey! I need some help! Go, Ryuji, go! What's the matter? You better make it, Skull. Is this good? Yeah, it's perfect. You seem to be enjoying this. Only the best can appreciate these critical moments. Plus, this feels like we're really phantom thieves. Yeah. It's like the climax to a grand, spectacular show. We'll be counting on you, Mona. And Panther as well. 
There's Fox's signal. That means they're ready to go. Good luck, everyone. Let's do this. Joker, now! Lowering the cat. Sorry for the wait. My bad. It took me ages to get that guy off my trail. You two did splendidly well. Splendidly? Is that even a word? I don't care. Two did great. Wait, where's Mona? Ah, uh, crap. Joker, you forgot to pull him up. Let's go. Yeah, we forgot to pull the switch. Maybe we did. Okay, never mind. Now step for a skill plan. That was amazing, Mona. Lord Mother Adam, the piece is gone. Uh, how the hell those vermin? Now we'll corner them like the rats they are. Lock down the lock all the doors at once. They have nowhere to run. Hey. So what the treasure turn out being? I'm guessing it's a painting based on the shape. We can look into that later. For now, we must escape. Yeah, it's time to go. Alright. Let's head out through here. Maybe making a break through the window. Does this window lead outside? What are you doing? We have to hurry, or... There! The trespass is up there! Lock down the control room and get them! What do we do? They're already here! There's no time to comp there's no time to contemplate. We must escape now. Whoa. So many up this high shit's windows. real high up. But at least we're outside. Is there a way down out here? Mm, sure. Plenty of uh, articulate stairs. Our way down here. Is this another portal to an unknown destination? We don't have time to lose. Just go through it. Now's our chance. Right. For real? But I guess there's no other way. Huh. I guess green mean go. Green mean go. The courtyard? I knew it. All that security would have been meaningless if it just led back inside. And surprisingly, there are no guards scrambling around here. I mean, again, I guess it would make sense. It seems we managed to escape their siege. Oh, no, Mona, now is really not a good time for this. Dude, why is Mona getting excited now of all times? It's not a good time for this. I just can't take it anymore. Let's take a look at this treasure. Oh boy. Guards will be walking in by that back way in about three, two, one. Great job, Mona, we failed. Huh? This is the treasure? Ah, uh, crap, we've been duped. It's a trap! Get back! Everybody, back away! <laughs> Meddlesome vermin. I had a distinct feeling he is a tad bit more cunning than Kamashita was. Is this what you're looking for? And yet he still insists on bringing the actual thing here, so maybe not too smart. How dare you try to trap me like some kind of mouse? Ha! <laughs> I get it. Guess he's a cat. Ah, uh, irony. Funniest form of comedy. So you had a fake prepped, huh? Counterfeits are accepted in the world of Japanese art. What the, the No, they aren't. No, they're not. I mean, sure, fan replicas, fan made art. I mean, sure, it's appreciated by, you know, other fans and such, you know. But it's just appreciation art. Counterfeits aren't highly accepted anywhere in terms of official art. 
What made you change like this? Is it because you became famous? Can't you understand how much it pains me to inquire about the crimes of my foster father? Now that I think back, the only reason why I took you in was due to my ties with your mother. That woman never lost her passion for painting, even after her husband died. Her skills and talents were quite astonishing. That's why I decided to look after her. Your mother and the artwork she created, they're all my works of art! Yeah, if only she didn't fall into the hands of some wretched crook like you. How low can you sink? It's a pretty damn low if he doesn't even look at people as people. I suppose I can grant you a gift before you die. A glimpse of the genuine Sayuri. But Rob, I think it's absolutely downright hilarious if you think we're just gonna die right here. But uh, anyways. Genuine? That's the real Sayuri? Yep, we all knew it. We all knew that strange blue covering up crap was weird and just threw off the entire painting whatsoever. It just looked like there was something that was sloppily done at the very last minute, like a quick editing job or whatever. It, it just didn't vibe well with the painting at all, which made it even more obvious. This can't be. Mom. Huh? Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, Yusuke has a higher amount of attachment to this painting. So what's the story behind this? Indeed it is. This was painted by your mother. It's a portrait of herself. The woman who knew her death was coming painted her last wishes for the son she would leave behind. Okay, so do we get a reason why you stole why you would steal something that personal to indicate a bond between a mother and their son and just shamelessly cover it up? Instead of just presenting it by itself and saying, oh, this was a painting to commemorate the lost wishes between my pupil and his mother when she passed, aren't I a great person for honoring her memory by showcasing this as it is? You could at least be a bit more honest that way. That is the truth behind the mystery of Sayuri's expression. Okay, seriously, why cover it up? You stole something that personal? I knew it first glance. I knew it'd be a huge success if I added a touch to the painting and announced it under my name. Cause that's just solely how you operate, huh? You can't flaunt your own talents, so you have to steal them from other people. That's how you've always been. But the baby in the picture... Why did you paint over it? Okay, here we go. It was all to stage it. If the babe is erased, the reason for the woman's expression will become a mystery. That is what the general public is drawn to. Each of those parasitic critics wrote the same thing. Uh, of course you would only think about the freaking public's perception and freaking fame and criticism first instead of considering the feelings of the actual artist itself. This guy is terrible. He's just downright awful. I always felt something was off about all this. Now I know what it is. You couldn't even be honest about the painting from the very beginning. You just had to go and frick it up. If you really treasured that painting, you wouldn't even think about replicating it for profit. Oh, of course, there's also that. You don't love art at all! Though you have a real treasure, your true skills are nothing more than those scribbles on that fake! And <laughs> that couldn't even be- that couldn't be more obvious since the very beginning. It makes me laugh, asshole! 
make me downright go off like a freaking hyena based on how pathetic and shameless you are. So you'll defy me no matter what. Well then, since you're my work of art, Yusuke, I'm going to reap you for the sake of my future. Alright, I think we're done talking here. It's time to put his geriatric, geriatric ass in the ground. Along with those insolent friends of yours there. Bring it, palm tree. I can't believe you're treating both mother and son like they're objects. You're inhuman! Fox? I've heard that you destroy your art once they outlive their usefulness. Oh no, here it comes. Did that include my mother as well? Oh no. She just so happened to have a seizure in front of me. That's when a thought crossed my mind. If I don't call for help and leave her be, I could obtain her painting without any strings attached. Yeah, remember how Kamoshida would shamelessly beat up his own volleyball team and go after female students? And we all called him the despicable scum of the earth that he was? This guy just ultimately raises up to an even higher level than a, like, not even to that higher level, just a level after that of just douchebaggery. This guy just, without a second thought, killed off the mother of the man which looked up to him from a very young age, all to satiate his own greed and freaking vanity. Oh, he is. Mm. Yeah, no. You killed people to get your way. Kamashita couldn't even do that. We are taking him down. No. You let her die? She was physically weak. No one would doubt if she just dropped dead because of a seizure. And so that was your reason justifying just- Oh, okay. Above all, Yusuke, didn't you think it was odd that I discovered your talent when you were only three? The reason why I kept you around was to keep you from realizing the truth behind Sayori. I'd have to think more about when Monorame took in Yusuke and took care of him for 10 years or so. You know, just to get the age right, but... Uh... No reason whatsoever to ever forgive this guy or to even think on his level. It's amazing. It's astounding on how he even believes someone would even agree with him on his methods or whatever and just forgive it all. You killed her. The artistic talents you inherited from your mother were a delightful miscalculation, though. If I'm to steal ideas, it's much easier robbing the future of brats who won't talk back than adults. It's thanks to you that I came up with the idea. You have my gratitude. Play another piece of shit. <laughs> uh, yep. His sanity shackles are about to come loose. Yusuke? I thank you, Madarame. Every reason for me to forgive you has disappeared without a trace at this very moment. Congratulations, old man. The one person who would have stood by you this entire time believing you were actually a good person now sees you as the disgusting monster you are. Hope you feel proud of yourself.
You aren't some rotten artist. You're a despicable fiend who wears the skin of an artist. Let's rid this man of everything he has. All you good-for-nothings barging into my museum and doing whatever the hell you want. Those who have the connections make the rules. Those who don't, follow them. Not to mention, the value of art is all subjective. I make the rules of the art scene. I am the supreme being. I am the god of the art world. All right. This isn't good. Get back. Time to fight. Let the boss fight and let the boss battle begin. Despicable desires, Madarame. You aren't even worth the art you create! Well then, guess there's nothing left to do but to destroy him and let him burn to the ground. Right, Yusuke? Joker, don't lose focus. There's no telling what he'll try! Okay, now! If I remember correctly, two of these but two of um these body paintings reflect magic while the others reflect physical. Persona! So just to test things out. Alright. So the nose absorbs magic. What about physical? All right, the mouth reflects All physical. Right, All right. Persona. Well, might as well just take care of the two eyes first and the mouth. Okay, so the eyes absorb different types of magic. All right. I can figure go. this out. It's time. Luckily, I brought along a friend who can help us take them all out. Like physical damage to all foes. All right, it's a Nagi. Let's go on a rampage. Oh, that sucks. They regenerated? That absolutely blows because he can do that if I don't take them all down. Damn it. Those things can come back if we don't take them down at once? It's fine. We'll figure this out. For now, though. Well, the nose is back down. Just stick him down with your gun. Okay, that didn't work. Good one, Fox. This is my other self. Medium physical damage to all foes. Let's try this. Let's go. Gonna need a magic skill for all of them. How about. Alright, Miss Kaguya! Shining out! There we go! And now, he's full exposed and in full jumping position. Matarame's out! Jump his ass! I'm the great Manorame! The Manorame who gathers a full crowd every time he opens an exhibit! 
I'm not someone that worthless brats like you are allowed to defy! Worthless brats who don't give a crap who you are or what you've done. Well, except for the fact that you horrendously ruined people's lives. So there's that. Enough of your egotistic ranting. Taste the wrath of all those you've preyed upon. Well put, Yusuke. Let's, Let's knock them out. I'm the great artist, Madarame. If you brats can't fathom that, then you'll witness it for yourselves. Behold, my mastercraft! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, may I introduce you to... What? He made copies of himself? Monorama's brand new Persona 5 Royal... Uh, third and second phase. I was gonna add a, a, out a, a hashtag or branding to it, but whatever. His new second and third final phases that completely replace the painting monster phase after the first time taking it down. Originally, we would have had to knock him around at least two or three times while depleting his actual body's health, but we switched it out to this where we have to take down each and every copy with its own affinity. It's a little bit more, well, it's more or less fitting for him considering he is known for making counterfeits and copying stuff. Hm, I see. Creating duplicates is his specialty. Yeah, simply put, as Mona said it. Persona! This is why I bring along personas with their own affinities Kanagi. and abilities. Alright, well. First one you should take down should be the wind guy since we have everybody else on standby. All right, is an Oh. Come on, Joker. Oh, come on. Fine. Here we go. Pass to. Yes. Persona. Boo boo. Come on, strike. Oh, nice one, Fox. Your side. Hold it on to the second person. Persona. Burn. Agi, the ice guy. Oh, see that again, Panther. Pass back to me. Everyone. Nice strategy, team. What comes around comes around. Whoa, okay. Now, Persona. Rising Slash! Stop this! Is this how you show your gratitude to the man who raised you? You basically robbed him of his life and his art. Silence! Don't waste your breath! Why should he ever feel grateful towards you? Alright. Let's do this! Oh, you might as well just keep going at it. This will strike them all down. I am down. Medium physical damage to all. Go for it. Vicious strike. I won't forgive you. Damn clueless brats. My fiery rage shall reduce you all to mere ashes. Take this! <laughs> I won't forgive you! My brilliant strikes like a flash of lightning! And now, you'll taste it for yourselves! Take this! Alright. More ice guys. Well... We do have a fire guy on our team, so... Medium fire damage to all foes. Let them all burn. Joker, are you okay? Okay, okay. 
fix that. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. Up to you, Roger. Not over yet. Let's go. All right, you stay. Ice this Going guy on. out. Joker, you're hurt. Don't get reckless now. Contact. Pass it on to the second person. Pass the Morgana for wind strike. And heal me back up, please. All right. That's the case. Uh, a good video should do the job. Thank Just you. keep everyone back up. Persona. And now, Maragi. This is my other self. Medium physical damage to one foe. <laughs> Go for it. Force or power here as long as we're around. You think we'll be daunted by such threats? Persona! Alright. Maybe Agi might work. Oh, it worked better than before. This is my other self. Prepare yourself. Disappear from my sight without a trace. Like dust scattered in the wind. Damn brass! Fox, your health is low. Watch out! Let's go. A rover. Just gonna keep going at it. Well, we're not backing down either. Keep everyone's defense down. This turn to heal you. Stay back up. It. We're almost done with this fight. I am down. Strike them down, you stay. Or... Let's take hey, care of the fake first. There we go. Ah! Uh, it seems to be slipping over there, Monorame. What's happened? Getting tired at your old age? What? I, the great Monorame, made an error? Ha! 
Eh, well, wouldn't be the first time, would it? So this is the true limit of your skill. <laughs> How infantile. To think you'd fail to produce even one of your counterfeits. Please, don't disappoint me any further. All right. Come. I'm gonna rampage them all. Took Madarame down in one bad strike. Nice. It's a step forward. I got a new power. Agilao. Medium fire damage to one foe. Sweet. <laughs> and what a skill. This guy got a counter. <sighs> Any last words you want to say? We're waiting. Fuck you ahead, get that katana ready for one final blow. No one cares for true art. All they want are easily recognizable brands. <sighs> well, listen, yeah, popular brands are important. Like, official brands are what people are usually drawn to, yeah. Make it seem like, you know, they're more trustworthy. But, I mean, look at all the amazing things off-branded artists make. They don't even have official brands, sponsors, or anything, and yet look at the things they're able to do. It's that kind of genuine art, that kind of genuine work they put in that draws people to them. They, they're capable of doing amazing things without getting caught up in anything official or you know having to deal with what the public thinks of them people can accomplish amazing things regardless of any sort of official standing or artificial in his case i'm a victim in this too wouldn't you agree <sighs> not at all excuses now the art world revolves around money, after all. You can't rise up without any money. Yusuke, you understand, don't you? Being a poor artist is truly miserable. I just didn't want to return to that life. I mean, I totally get that that's your motivation to, you know, work yourself up to become someone famous. But let's not forget, in order to get to where you stand today, you took the lives of two people and ultimately ruined so many others with your own, for the sake of your own vanity. A fiend like you has no right to speak about the world of art. There it is, right there. You're done for, along with this whole wretched world! <laughs> no, please! Just don't kill me! <laughs> Return to yourself in reality and confess your crimes. All of them. You're not going to kill me? As if we were gonna let you get away that easy. We're not gonna give you the simple way out, idiot. Swear it! <laughs> Alright! Alright! What about the other one, though? The one with the black mask? Huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? Because it can't be Morgana. A black mask? 
Wait, who's he talking about? It can't be. There was another intruder besides us within this palace? Huh. Well, things just got a bit more interesting. There's no time! Hurry! Right, we gotta get moving. Get on! Yusuke, what should I do? Put an end to all this and use your own artwork for once. Seriously. All of this could have been avoided if you were actually put in the efforts to be a good artist. Because I think we all know he can. Yusuke! No, wait, please! Yusuke! Yusuke! Instead, in the end, he was just another con. Pathetic. That spot's fight cleared, guys. A plus job. It would be bad if people started getting suspicious of us. We should leave at once. Yusuke, come on. Right. Goodbye, Sensei. I guess the mission was a success. All that's left is to see if he had a change of heart or not. Yep. Good work, team. Ah, oh, so bitter. Why'd you get it black? Oh, dude. That's actual coffee. Oh, dude, I hate black coffee. Like, you gotta at least put some cream and sugar in that. I just can't drink it the way it is. It's basically the equivalent to sour dirt. Sayuri. I mean, I totally understand if other people, like, Hard-boiled people usually drink it, but like, why? You're not gonna get all teary-eyed and say stuff like, Mom, are ya? To think that this painting was the source of Matarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. <sighs> the genuine painting at his atelier has been altered after all. Ironic as it may be, this one here is her true self-portrait now. Well, I'm definitely glad he got to keep the actual painting of his mother. On the other hand, uh, does anybody else remember back in the previous episode after we took care of Kamashita's palace? I told you to hang on to Morgana's words as he said that the metal we collected from his palace had been altered and is now like we essentially stole in a counterfeit metal. I thought that was odd coming into this scene and him saying that this is a genuine article article because I immediately thought like it counter like it just contradicted this plot this plot in the story. Like I thought that was a bit of a plot hole. But now that I look I'm looking back at the dialogue like, he even says that the genuine painting back at Madarame's place had been altered by him. Which is ultimately the truth. He decided to cover it up with his own tut and touch towards the painting. So, he didn't... He no longer held the genuine article. He just altered it. Thinking of it like that... It would make more sense for this to be the actual painting depicted from Madarame's mind. I don't know. If it, anybody in the comments, feel free to jump in on this conversation, but that ultimately is the best sort of explanation I can come up to now that I'm looking back at the actual dialogue. Which, to be fair, I could have speculated about this before, but for the longest time, it just didn't make sense to me. It's a wonderful painting. And, although it took some time, it's in your hands now, Yusuke. It's about time, right? I'm thankful for it. 
However, it's impossible for this painting to be acknowledged by society anymore. Yeah, I mean, everybody else already getting fed up with the cotton with the um the counterfeit of it. Seeing it like that, they wouldn't accept it as the actual thing. But Honestly, I don't think it's that bad of a thing, honestly. Like, I don't think it's... I think his mom would have just wanted Yusuke to keep the painting for himself instead of... holding it up for everybody to see. So... Maybe this is more of a good thing than a bad thing. You may be right. Seeing my mother's expression here, it's doubtful that she would have wished for fame. And there we go. So, this is my mother. There's no way that I would remember her face clearly. Now that is a bit of dialogue I am going to question. Because the actual painting itself, if I remember closely, the face of the model itself has not been altered in any sort of way. So, there is no reason Yusuke looking at the painting now compared to seeing Sayuri before would not recognize his own mother's face, right? But, I was right about the rush of emotion I felt when I saw this painting. Classic. Real classic skull. Stop that! You're so vulgar, Ryuji. Yep. And unfortunately, he is my best friend. So, what are you gonna do now? We're gonna keep targeting big shots. Why do you do such things? It's to get back at scumbags and, like, society in general. Yeah, you know, the typical teenage thing. We also want to give courage to the people that are suffering because of selfish adults. That too. That ultimately is a much bigger reason for us doing this. Courage, huh? What good does that do? You mean the courage to stand up for themselves, correct? Will acquiring that make them happy? I mean... I think it does. Yeah, there's no knowing whether it'll turn out good for everyone or not. I mean, if it'll help society prosper that much more, then... Eh. Still, we won't know unless we give it a try. In other words, it all depends on the person, hmm? And the same can be said about myself right now. I also suffered because of an adult's selfish act. Moreover, if we investigate these palaces, it may expand my artistic repertoire. Hmm. Well, I guess that's one way to put experience into your work. You really only think about art, huh? You're impressive. Well, I won't take part in any inelegant plans, all right? No worries! I've got us covered. Uh -huh, sure you do, I'm sure you do. Plus, we have a rule that says we always have to decide on a target unanimously. Mm. How about yeah, it, Joker? That part is actually what keeps us in line. We can give our calling cards a lot more oomph if we have Yusuke on our team. Mm, yeah. Not only will he help us, you know, maintain our professional look as thieves. But it's kind of like, as you said, someone who appreciates the fine arts or has a keen eye for the fine arts is pretty much essential to a thief's uh, skill kit. You make a great member. I will try and live up to those expectations. At any rate, I'm curious. Another intruder besides us, huh? Our only clue is a black mask, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's just one person, right? But there's no way to check anymore. The palace is gone. Yeah, it's definitely the intriguing mystery indeed. The plot only thickens from here. I'll try probing Matarame. 
I may be able to learn something from him. Are you sure? I mean... I'll contact you all if anything turns up. We should probably exchange our contact info with you then. An artist and a phantom thief. Well, it seems I'll be engaging in two trades from here on. Very well. You only live once after all. Huh. Is it a... Is it a... Still, the incident about this other intruder does concern me a little. Uh, I'm sure we'll run into them plenty soon enough. Not only have we dealt with our second big target, we even have a new addition to the team. Goodness, things are going so well. <laughs> well, I would say we're definitely on a roll. <laughs> Could the day our name becomes common knowledge be nigh? But I have to say, you sure are something special. This is our fifth Persona user. It'll help broaden our battle strategies as well. Hmm. You have a point. Besides, having an eye for beauty is a must for Phantom Thieves. We're lucky to have you, Yusuke. An artist is a talent you rarely come across. I mean, he is a bit strange, but still. I mean, are we all strange in our own ways? We're all outcasts in society, one way or another. And as eccentric as he may be, that's an essential part of being an artist. So, it, it's definitely a keen skill set that would definitely help run things out a little bit. An artist, huh? What kind of person do you think I was? There's no way I'd turn out to be some bad guy in the end, right? Oh, you really should not have said that. Seriously, why say something like that? Now suspicion's gonna be dragged all around you. We're gonna have to keep an even closer eye on you than usual. I get so engrossed with the embodiment of human desires. And that's not all. When it comes to the metaverse, I'm the only one who can transform into a car. I'm special, but it's still odd. Hmm. Who could I actually be? A human, a monster. A cat who can sock. Will you give it a rest? That's definitely not the case. <laughs> That's a free point for the counter. <sighs> what a half-assed answer. Oh, shut up. That would have been your given response no matter what I'd chosen. Well, there's no way a dashing, honorable rogue like me could be evil. Okay, seriously, can you please stop saying things like that? A man who saves those in trouble in the West while punishing evildoers who may lurk in the East. A man who chastises people that smoke inside in the south, while saving bullied cats in the north. A man who has a sturdy body, and vows to always do one good deed a day, be it rain or shine. Okay, tone it down there, puss in boots. I'm that kind of ideal person. Or, so I hope. So if I turn back to being human, surely she'll take notice of me, won't she? Who are you talking to? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't even. <laughs> you, you like someone? Might as well just have him say it. Me? Don't be ridiculous. People chase after me when it comes to love. Uh huh. I'm sure of that. Of course, we all know exactly who he's talking about at this point, right? Where should I go when I become human? I wonder where she'd like to go. I mean, maybe work on developing your own character instead of, you know, just constantly pining after her, my dude. I mean, she's a genuine girl who appreciates, you know, those who put others first, but... 
yeah, let's, let's just move on. We know who he's talking about, and that should be good enough. An amusement park, a movie theater, a fancy cafe, shopping. And then again, if those two were to go shopping, I could definitely picture him just carrying all the bags. What do you think? Well, I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper and more intriguing. And with that, we've reached Magician Arcana Rank 3. Follow-up. A chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Alright. Alright. Yo, good job, guys. We all did our best. Allow me to express my thanks once again. Because of you, I was able to retrieve the painting that had been filled with my mother's love. Hearing you say that makes the whole thing worth it, Yusuke. Seriously. I wasn't sure you'd really want to change Madarame's heart. I'm sorry to have worried you. I have no regrets about it now. And the change of heart will happen this time, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. No, we did it just like with Kamoshida. By the way, I'm curious about what he said at the end. You mean about the other intruder besides us? There was something about a black mask, yeah? That may have been nothing more than a lie. Uh, no, dude. I think we should at least keep that at the back of our minds. Someone spout something like that? And that's serious and as they are about not wanting to die. I don't know, some, even, like in any sort of story, in any sort of narrative story, or RPG or whatever, someone spouts something like that, you gotta hang on to it. Honorame was deranged at that, was quite deranged at that point after all. For now, we should wait for his change of heart and peace, okay? Alright, so uh, with that being said, it. I've got to go ahead and save somewhere. Alright, so here we go. Man. Keep being dire up to date. Oh, we should do some real good, like canceling out, you can cancel out your criminal record or something. Yeah, me too. All right, with that being said, we have about three days until legal action happens. So, what are we to do today? I suppose we could take the time to bump a ba 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 I guess at this point, yeah, we might as well just start reading this one. Make sure you close up. All right, I'm heading home. When she danced, men fell upon her feet. Wow! It wasn't just her looks, but her way of life was also very beautiful. Hey, hey! Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So, how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. We should continue some other time. Alright. And now, story reports in the Velvet Room. With your host, Mr. Igor. You have expelled one who was stained in vanity. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. 
It's a delightful thing indeed. Mm. Our master is pleased. You should be honored, inmate. However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another has made their way into the metaverse. Yeah, that seems to be the topic in the middle of everyone's minds right now. Huh. Who could he actually be? I think it's best if we start thinking of this right away, but who could our mysterious intruder actually be? That is beyond my knowledge. But your rehabilitation is progressing smoothly. That is for certain. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Okay, well, I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. And with that, we have reached rank four with the full arcana. All right. Friday the third. It's Kitagawa. Hey, Yusuke. I'm calling about Madarame's state. For the time being, he hasn't suffered a mental shutdown. Alright. Well, then it seems as though we've done our job properly. Other than that, his demeanor seems to have softened a bit. Is that the change of heart? Very well could be. This has happened before. I see. I was curious and looked into Kamoshida as well. It's as if he was an entirely different person. Will the same be true for Sensei? Well, it definitely seems like the effects are progressing slowly as they should. I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's all I wanted to tell you. Good. Oh, I'll try asking him about the black masked intruder from the palace when the time is right. Of course. Goodbye then. This time for sure. Then again, I highly doubt he would actually know anything about that. His shadow said something doesn't mean his actual real world counterpart would know. Alright, well, I'll chat to you later, Yusuke. All right, we actually grabbed the seat as well, so we're able to wrap this up. Passionate story above Carmen. Hmm? Even when facing death, his her soul was free. Wow! Wasn't just her looks, but a way of life was also very beautiful. So you finished reading The Alluring Dancer. The great beauty Carmen lived for love and passion. I suppose a life without freedom is pointless. Well, I don't know if I could live exactly like she did, but you learned a lot, didn't you? Ah, uh, is this it? Uh, not yet. We're still at head turning. Something happened to me the other day. Actually. I almost got kidnapped. Who would kidnap a cat? What? I'm not a cat. Ding. That's another point for the counter. That said, I don't actually have a clue why I was targeted. Some girl had this crazy look in her eyes. And she ch was chasing me around, calling me a snowball or something. I wonder if she's been going after other cats and scratching them up like she tried and snatching them up like she tried me. Hey. Try checking the fan site and see if anyone's saying anything about it. Wasn't able to find any relevant posts. Maybe it's just not a well-known problem yet. 
The only victims are cats, so I suppose that could be the case. Okay, let's go. Let's try asking around in Yongen and see if we can find the culprit. Alright, if cats disappeared from the city, a request has been received from Morgana. First, let's head to the library to return the book. What would you like? If you need something, I'd like to return the book. Thank you. What would you like? Alright, I want to borrow a book. On the books we can check out right now. Uh, we can't check out Speed Reader still, but we can't pick up the Galliant Rogue. A book to help us increase our guts. Here. Hmm. Alright. For now, let's explore around Yongin, but I want to check my messages really quick. One thing for Takemi, two things for On and Ryuji. Seems we're finally able to increase our bonds a little bit. Alright, awesome. Alright, let's circle around Yongin real quick and then we'll do social links afterwards. <laughs> We haven't gathered any info on the cat abductions, have we? Let's try asking people around town. Ah, oh, well there's a... Conversation marker right here. Mm -hmm. that, that lady looks really happy now. Is it because she got a bunch of cats? Well, immediately found what we were looking for. We were right on the money. I suppose I, per I suppose, I personally think it's a bit too much. With that many, it gets so loud I can't sleep at night. Bunch of hey. cats? Hey, she might be talking about the kidnapping case. Let's ask her for more information. Hello there. Can I help you? I'm concerned as well. They also keep me up at night. You're concerned about that household as well? She suddenly brought home a massive number of cats. I wasn't sure if she was alright. It's terribly noisy at night, and they shed everywhere. I'm worried that it's not the healthiest environment to raise those cats. Hmm. That is worrying. Yes, I agree. I even told the landlord about the situation I know Sean's home. It looks like nothing's changed. I know who? Huh? Her name? I'm not sure. I only say hello to her every now and then. So, I don't know her that well. Mm. Doesn't look like we can learn something else from her. Let's get out of here and go over what we know so far. So, here's what we learned from that mother and child. This I know lady suddenly adopted a bunch of cats. There's concern about the noise at night and shedding. Cats might be acting that way because they're stressed. Anyway, okay, we might be able to find some other clues. Let's keep investigating around Yong. Okay. There appears to be a couple talking right here, so maybe. Hey, have you been to Shibuya lately? Yes, I went to I went to see Madarama's exhibit. They were talking about it on Good Morning Japan. There have been some scary happening. There's some been some scary accidents happening lately, so try to be careful. Oh, you're right. The one back in April was terrible. Hope that sort of thing won't happen again. Is the cat not here today either? Maybe that woman really did take him. A woman? Hey! I've been talking about the cat that the case. Let's ask him for more information. Hmm? Did you want to listen to the radio? About that woman. Uh, yes. There's this woman who nabs all the cats around here and calls them Snowball. A few people I know have been victims. 
The same thing probably happened to the cat here. Now, have you come to the police? Of course I have. They turned me away because I didn't have any proof though. But I did get her name. It's Ryoko Aino. I made sure to ask while I was there, so there's no mistake. The police just treat cats like objects. This little guys are family to me. I wish there was something I could do about this mess. You ought to be careful too, since you're toting that cat in your house. <sighs> Not only are our other cats suffering, but she's hurting people too. The Aino household was the one that suddenly got a lot of cats, right? That's gotta be our target. We should discuss this with, with everyone at the hideout. Alright, our suspect has been confirmed. Now we can go back to the hideout if we need to. But for now... Let's say we take the time to go over our confidant list. We definitely want to increase our point of on and Ryuji since I think they're more or less around the same level. I think for today, I want to hang out with Ryuji a little bit, since it has been quite a while. I kind of want to talk today. Well, it's more like I gotta unload all this crap off my chest. Why don't we go grab some ramen? You know, check things out. I'll treat and I'll take you over to a special shop I know. And I even have a chariot and persona to take with me. Good luck my bond with Ryuji will grow stronger soon. Let's hang out with him. It's kind of far, but the flavor's killer. Get pumped, dude. It's over in Obi. It's over in Ojikubo. So let's grab a train over there. Okay, Ojikubo, a quiet and convenient residential district, famous for its ramen. All right. All right. feeling of noodles sliding down my throat, sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. Light soup like this really gets your blood going again after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice, and... Uh, I guess that's all in the past. By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times, but for some reason it doesn't look like he's getting along with the others. Are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. I've been thinking about what he said, about how the whole track team was putting up with Kamoshida's shit. And how I effed it all up for him. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know better I should know that better than anyone. Hmm. Well, it's more so like the school just didn't really care about the track team at all to begin with if Kamoshida leaving the team was all it took for them to basically give up on them. It's good they're keeping their heads low now though. I don't want them ending up like me. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you're doing well for yourself right now, Ryuji. I mean, sure, you kept your head held high, and everyone kind of resented you for it, but it kind of made way for you to stand on your on your own as your own person. And look at you now. Like, you've got us. I'd say you're doing great. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean... I'd never met you. I never met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? 
So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though. It's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. Alright. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Alright, that's rank 4 with the chariot. Stealth Dash. Makes you less likely to be found in the metaverse while dashing. Okay. All right. That is extremely helpful. Well, I always say extremely helpful, but it is helpful nonetheless. Hmm. I just hope I can I just hope there's something I can do to help this track guys. Though it probably mess them up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah. We still gotta find a new spot for our training. Hmm, I'll think about it. No sucking off till then, okay? See ya! Later, dude. Alright, so the armor. You gotta get rid of that. Uh, I think for today, though, I want to do something. But first... Crossword puzzle. Hey, Could hey. help us increase our knowledge a little bit. And it doesn't take up any time at all, so... Yeah, let's play a little bit of it. Where art is shown off and sold. Well, when I think of that, I think of an auction, which one, two, three, four, five, it would work, however, I don't see a C in our word count at all, so that, we can't do that. Uh, what about G, A, and we can fill out these as well, mustachioed, Surrealist. Garu, maybe? But that was our only G. Mm. Hmm. A Paris Museum. We gotta get rid of this. Mural. Okay, in that case, this has to be something else.
I'm not entirely sure, but I do know the answer to this. It's a gallery. Gallery is a room or corridor where artwork is on display. The gallery is also the area where observers group together for all sorts of events, from court to, go to golf tournaments. It can also refer to society at large, especially in regards to the majority opinion, or even a pass passageway made by an animal such as a tunnel system of a mole. Alright. I see. Okay. Wow, I even I couldn't figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving those crossword puzzles. Okay, point up. Let's see. Okay, so for today, I actually want to try working at the beef bowl shop. But I want to talk to the politician guy again because he is a confidant in which we can unlock after we work at the beef bowl shop, which I think was already Please been established in the previous episode. Okay, this is speech he's already given. You, you're listening quite intensively. Mm, like, not really. I kind of skipped over a lot of your dialogue. Are you interested in politics? I am interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interests of someone your age. Hmm. I could use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped to try to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, that's all for today. I'm off to the beatball shop. Hey! Rep, if we work part time at the beatball shop, maybe he'll let you help him. Alright. Please take your time. Wise man's words and nightlight hotspots. Should help us improve our knowledge and expand where we go at night. Okay. Alright, here it is, the beef bowl shop. Let's get to work today. And I hope it's improve our proficiency. Let's get to work. Whoa, another large group just came in. It's going you're gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. One large beef bowl. One medium hue. One medium beef bowl. And one curry bowl. If I remember that right. Yep. One large beef. One medium hue. One medium beef and one curry. All right, stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first person order? He ordered a large beef bowl. <laughs> Second person ordered a medium hooey bowl. Hey! Third customer ordered... What's a large beef, a large... Beef. A medium beef. Nice! And I think he wanted a large curry bowl. Well. Alright. Got them all in one. You. You appear to have a difficult time there. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overlooked is a, is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Mm. I should remember this. Well then, I'll see you again. I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Hey, hey! Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. You should go to the station square again sometime soon. Hey. My. Aha, good work. It seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. We were as crowded today as we usually get on Yaki Nuk Yaki Nikki Day. 
I wonder if there was some event happening nearby. Thanks in advance. I'll pay you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. Nice. Getting a little bit of extra money. Man. You were amazing today dealing with so many orders. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it quite proficiently. <laughs> oh, this is it. Yeah! Proficiency level 3, we are now a skilled man. Alright. Oh, I guess we should go home soon. Hey, Saturday. We're getting started. It's been getting human lately, huh? Though, it's times like these when you've just gotta push through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. Then I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really look that suspicious? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, speaking, but speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about you? Any guesses on me, Akun? What do you what do you think the name for this phenomenon is? Alright. Destiny effect, the tire mullet. That's a difficult name. That doesn't sound real. Maybe it's gotta be the halo effect. This is it. Right. Correct. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities that your border perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make total, totally objective judgments. Like that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Whoa, he actually knew that. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. You must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Knowledge rank three, we are now a scholar. All right. Hmm. Halo effect isn't all bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from getting from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Probably of ter plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. <laughs> Lady On looks perfect. And she is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> There you are. I need your help with something. Yeah? I, uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Housekeeping service. Oh, boy. Uh, Ryuji, I don't know if anyone else has ever told you this. But usually, if you find a flyer, like a pink flyer with hearts all over, and a girl dressed in a maid costume with cat ears, they don't usually think it's just a cleaning service. Service like this is this is clearly something else. It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. Oh yeah, that is definitely something else. A maid, dude. A maid! Who'll do anything for us? And the way he's talking about it. Oh man, yep, this is an adolescent teenage boy. Right? Right? So what do you want me to do about it? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Well, I'm asking what you plan to do about this. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? 
Why? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. Huh. Well, okay, at least you have a set place for this, so... The place is all set, so... Still, what do you exactly do you plan to do about, you know... Like, you call up a maid and have her do what exactly? I'm pretty sure she's not gonna allow you to do quote-unquote anything. It's, you know, aside from housekeeping. Hey, I heard that. And if it's a vacant apartment, like, what exactly is she cleaning? Oh, whatever. I recognize that voice anywhere. You might as well just come out, Mishima. What the hell? Yep, figured. Um, can I, uh, get in on this? Sure, why not? Make it a freaking party in a single apartment. Oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow, okay! I'm not into it. It's just for research. <laughs> I'm sure it is, buddy. I'm sure it is. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. Well, if they don't, I don't know why Ryuji found one in his mailbox. <sighs> well, it's pretty obvious this is the timeline in which we are inevitably going to have to go down, so... I guess we have to. Right? And if it's a scam, then we need to punish them. This is the current fixed timeline in which has to occur, so doesn't matter if we turn it down or not. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. These are high school kids. <laughs> I just want to let everyone else know that. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. Sure. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm... Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch! <laughs> nice! I like that! Yeah. I mean, this event is pretty hilarious, yeah. but you can just tell, like, us as the protagonist, we want almost nothing to do with this. Like, we're trying to live normal high school lives, guys. Mm. All right, it's raining. Might have an effect on my mentos. It's only Mishi Mishima telling us about the flyer. Actually, I want to go to Central Street since it is raining. It's a, there's a good chance it'll help us raise our knowledge a bit more. There is something I want to try that we have not done yet. It will be a tremendous help to increase our stats. Let's head into the diner. Alright, we can now fast travel to the oh. diner. Hey, this family restaurant has been renovated and it's open again. Alright, visiting the diner. Studying will cost time to pass, but will improve your knowledge. In addition, if you eat, you will be able to improve your guts as well. Items will be added to the menu depending on the season. During bad weather, you will be able to increase your knowledge more than usual. Hmm. Alright, but you can study here while enjoying the menu. Alex, head on in. Oh! I was expecting more people. It's so quiet. Welcome! May I take your order? We added the new menu now that renovations are finished. Would you like to try it? I recommend the surprise sundo and the nostalgic steak. Alright, the sundo is a special dish made of clay paste and pleasure paste. 
That's what the guts to indulge, and it sounds very steak. That's like grandma made it feel kindness. All right. We need to improve guts. We need to improve kindness. However, I feel like we need to improve our guts first since, you know, that's more so closely tied to, you know, social links and stuff like that. So, there we go. All right. Be right back with the order. Great. Yeah, sure, it does look good, but yeah, it probably actually does taste good too. Oh. For real? Scarf that down without any hesitation. I'm overwhelmed by your guts. <laughs> One point. This is not all too bad. Nice. On those, on those customers coming in and out was a little annoying, but you look pretty focused there. <laughs> and two points of knowledge. So, where's the increase? Wanna head back? Where was the increase I can usually get during raining season? Is it seriously just one point each and every time? Ah, you're back. Eh, whatever. Exhibition ends tomorrow. Matarame must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, no one's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Matarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Matarame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Adorame is on the phone as we speak. Hmm? With who? Likely the media. I haven't heard anything about this conversation about pressing in this conversation about pressing charges. Guess we gotta guess we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. Hey, you didn't forget, did you? No, I did not. About the flyer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us. We have nothing better to do. Let's get this part of with. Trust me, I'm gonna let you guys know this is completely hilarious. This, this event is going to be completely hilarious and unexpected to those who haven't seen it. Alright, pretty high hopes for them. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, hell yeah. Alright, All right, let's do it. <sighs> so, we're really going to do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? Operation Maid Watch, bro. <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Yay. Well, if it turns out to be sketchy, we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. Yeah, but are you sure you're gonna want to have to? Pay, are you sure you're gonna want to pay that return fee? This is always a return fee for someone's inconvenience. Uh, well, I guess it is pretty smart for you, Ryuji. <laughs> right? Wait, what do you mean for you? You know exactly what that means, idiot. I think Sakamoto has a brain. If that's the case, then. Then, yep. Um, uh, why you're looking at me? Yeah. Okay, give him a call. What? Why me? I was dragged into this crazy scheme. You do it. Uh. Fine. I guess I at the very least got to put in some of the work. I get my hands dirty here too. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. <gasps> they answered. Freaking duh, what you expect? Hey. Shh. 
I take it you're interested in our services then? Services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone we want to request? What should we do, Ren? No preference. I'm fine. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? Whoa. Shit. This is really happening. Maid services. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we start with some cooking. See, this conversation feels like something we should have had. Instead of we waited until the very last minute. Because if we didn't bring anything aside from, you know, just ourselves in this empty vacant apartment. There's nothing to cook, there's nothing to clean. Well I I mean I guess I mean I guess the dust among the walls is something for them to clean. We could spectate their cleaning abilities from that this is already turning out to be such a bad idea. Of course I want to mind some of the other Oh God. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss we had all the time in the world today to hold a strategy meeting before we called them up. Now we only have 20 minutes. You said 20 minutes, right? I gotta use the bathroom. Oh. It's almost time. Yeah. 20 minutes prep, 20 minutes prep time and we have no coordination plan at all. Then again, I'm not really expecting some sort of plan here it's just i thought mishima would have been the planning sort of guy but whatever we were in there for a while are you okay hey did you wash your hands ryuji huh what who me you're really nervous <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah. Going downhill. Our high school student. Too late to ask that sort of question now. We already called them up. Should have brought. Should have brought that question up before I gave them. Before I said like. Before I even picked up the phone, you should have said. You should have started with that. Huh? What? What do you mean, ha? Huh? You should have researched it. Mishima, you're the one who is insisting on research. What if they find out who we are? Too late. Wait. How should I know? Why should how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? Ryuji also brings up a very good point. We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on a caller ID. Good evening, I'm from the housekeeping service. Huh? What? Already? She's five minutes early. Well then, I guess she should expect a pretty big tip. What should we do? I'm not mentally but You had all day to mentally prepare yourself, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Hell, the door's unlocked. Um, may I come in? I can't do this. My stomach's acting up, and my hands are all sweaty. Oh no, Ryuji, this was your idea. Oh, my bad, man. Okay, you handle the rest. And don't let him find out your high school soon. Oh my god. I've got your back, like, from way back, like, from the balcony. What? what? I, I can't do this either. I'm a Mia, we'll leave this. My loyal friends, Yuji and Mishima, fled to the balcony. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure this will work out better for me anyhow. So yeah, you two go behind the freaking... You two go behind the blinds, cowering, like cowering in fear or whatever. Excuse me? Oh, there you are. Welcome home, master. I am so glad I'm alone right now. 
I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. I'm alone. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. This line is automatic disqualification. Hello? Makes it seem... Um, simple response, though. The way I'm saying it kind of makes it seem less competent. This one, however... Dreaming with competence. A little playful. Kind of makes it seem like... You know, I know exactly what kind of situation I got myself into. So yeah, that's to me out you too. We're going to get along so well. Meow. Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, Master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. But well, there are some other services we provide if you desire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm, you look young, Master. Are you perhaps in high school? Well, I, <clears throat> I'm a dad. Wow, your skin's so healthy. You're not lying to me, are you? Of course not. I mean, why would I lie about my maturity and age to someone from a random maid housekeeping service person? I'm clearly by myself in this room. I have no- I have no reason to lie. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, you're not buying it, are you? Mm, I'll wait to provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. So, I'll be going now. Hey, hold, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. I paid to have you come over and provide some housekeeping, woman. I don't give a damn about these other services, but I want to see you clean so I can evaluate your skills. Stir up that speck of dust in the corner over there. Huh? What? No! Quiet! Is someone there? Oh no. Shit! Run, Mishima! Mishima? Suck him up. Who is this? Who are you? Cause you clearly know us. Nobody said nothing about no names. How do you know who Sakamoto is? Did you request me specifically? Oh, wait. Are you... Don't tell me. Oh no, it's alright. How would you know me? Well... With all due, res with all due respect, I can't really exactly say I blame her for taking up this line of work. I mean, if you look at teacher salaries, especially like... Oh, I mean, in the States, it's not so high. I don't know, teachers, are, teachers, no matter where you look at it, they're put through the ringer and probably aren't paid very well, especially in some place like Japan. So I wouldn't exactly blame her for wanting to take up this line of work. Man, poor Teach. This is our first meeting. Yes, uh, the first time ever, Master. Yes. You believe me, don't you? Ugh, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. Our homeroom teacher. Like, 
jumping back to that subject, what are the freaking chances? This is downright hilarious, especially seeing it for the very first time. I'm so done. Can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. I should have taken a job outside of the city, but I needed it to be close to school so I can go there after I finished work. Hey! Who did you hear about this from? Oh, crap. Uh, nobody important. Uh, friend of a friend. Uh, I mean, uh, hmm. Oh, it was Miss Chorno, wasn't it? that harpy? Miss Chorno, the English teacher. Oh, yeah, blunt, tan skin, dark hair, right? Looks kind of uh, Latina. She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamashita. Are you going to tell Miss Chono about this? Okay. So, I know this is kind of messed up. Like, I just have a thought. And this is kind of messed up. But in this situation, if we play our cards delicate, we we hold all of the cards close to our chest right now. If we play this right, it won't matter what we do for the rest of high school. We are going to be a straight A student. <laughs> just, just, just think about that. It's just we have a golden opportunity here to make sure we have the highest GPA and we get out of this scot free. I mean, for now, for now, we might as well just be. Nah, screw it. That part's kind of, kind of up to you, Teach. I mean, you haven't exactly been the nicest to us this entire time, so... Yeah, I don't feel bad for doing this. Hey, if you're going to side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. That is a valid point. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chono about this, I'll do anything for you. Can you raise my GPA average? anything can you make sure I get straight A's on all my exams can you let me slack off in your class hey it won't be any better for you if people find out you call the maid service I called to be fair counterpoint I called the maid service expecting housekeeping services and whatnot like cooking cleaning all that sort of thing, or at the very least, I want to evaluate your abilities in doing so. That way, I know I can call upon the surface again if I need to, and if I need an extra hand around the house or whatever. All that aside, it means nothing to me. Like, that that's the story I'm going with. I just want housekeeping surfaces. Nothing harmful about that, right? This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought of that. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too. So why don't we both forget this ever happened? Uh, I mean, for now, yes, but don't, listen, don't think for a moment that this is just gonna be a one-time thing. This is just gonna be like, th this is gonna come up again in the near future. I hope you know this. Just be glad, just be, glad there isn't like an HD camera place some surveillance camera placed somewhere in this room I'll treat this as if you had canceled so you won't have to pay anything okay on that note I'll be leaving don't say anything about this at school okay just act as if nothing ever happened got it okay bye Okay, so 
We're obviously never gonna let this go. We're gonna bring this up again the next time we go to school. I suddenly feel exhausted. <sighs> and I just wanna go home. Man, this is starting to get interesting. We need to be even more cautious than before. This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society.